All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this lesson <clears throat> um, about who the Israelites are and why um, this Bible is not a book of religion. Okay? Now, it is based off of faith, off of belief, you know, but the thing is that a lot of people tend to look at this Bible as if it's a book for everybody when it's not, you know, it's clearly only for the nation of Israel, which are the 12 sons of Jacob. Jacob got his name changed to Israel. And he had 12 sons, which his 12 sons are the progenitors of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? And before America happened, before these uh, countries all came together and uh, formed w whatever belief that they have, okay, our people, the Israelites, had their own customs they had their own beliefs they had their own faith they knew who who the lord was and everything but we had lost that okay um this is deuteronomy 7 and 6 it says for thou art an holy people unto the lord thy god the lord thy god has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth okay now the the so-called Negroes that live in America which are predominantly the tribe of Judah okay well well all the all of the 12 tribes went into slavery under the so-called uh, white man okay but dealing with the so-called Negroes they was put into slavery uh, through slave ships, okay, and and was beating all of their customs out of them. You know, before they came over here, or before all the, the, the tribes came into slavery, they all had their own ways of living, which is according to the scriptures, okay, they, it, it's, it's a nationality. Being an Israelite, it's a nationality, okay? So, if everybody in America was to leave America, everybody knows where to go at except for you so-called Negroes. And that's built by design because our people have lost who who their power was, their true power is. And and when we were in um in our own nation nation, when we when the Israelites was together we reverenced and we respected our our Lord Power, the Most High. Okay, we knew who who our power was, and now you have a situation where our people don't know who the Heavenly Father is. Our people are not holy anymore. Okay, when you come into the knowledge of who you are, is according to the Bible, uh, Israelite, you're supposed to conduct yourself a certain way. You have people that live out here in this world that are saying that, you know, we're not supposed to judge and um, so on and so forth. But according to the Bible, we are. You know, the, the, the Bible does not mess with this American society because it wasn't given to this, this uh, the, the nationality of, of anybody except for Israelites. Okay, it's jo Joel 2 and 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. So the Lord is in the midst of Israel. He's in. He's the Lord God over Israel. He's not the Lord God over everybody. He's the Lord God God over Israel. And my people shall never be a saint. Okay, um, this is Malachi. I'm gonna get this one. 
Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay, the sons of Israel are not consumed. So the Lord does not change. The Lord said that his, the Israelites are a chosen people, and that's what he meant. You know, and, and, and uh, we were placed into slavery and in captivity under our enemies. Okay, um, this is Jeremiah 17 verse 4 it says and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that i gave thee and and that's what where we have the slave owner last names okay and i will cause thee to serve your enemies in the land which thou knowest not which is america for you have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever and and our people when when we were in um uh in the knowledge of who we was before okay our people uh was was wicked our people uh went to go after serving other gods and you know forgot who they were okay our people were spiritually wicked and now it's is even more so today you know you have people that are are, are wicked Okay, wickedness is, is at an all-time high. Okay, but our people have lost who 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 they was, and 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 that's built by design because the Lord said that He was going to put us in uh, under servitude of our enemies in a land that we know not. So we don't control anything that we have. Okay, this is Second Thessalonians two and three. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be come a falling away first. And that falling away was our people losing who they was, who they are, okay? And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, which is the so-called white man, he's, he's uh, showing who he is today, that, he, that <coughs> I'm sorry. That the Bible is not really he don't he don't follow the Bible, you know he steals, he lies and he kills. Okay, it says who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, and or that is worshipped, and that's what the so-called white man does. Okay, he says that you can um, uh, worship whatever you want as long as it's under what he 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 deemed uh, correct. Okay. Um, you, 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 you can be, um, a, a whatever religion that you are or belief that you have, the so-called white man, um, is over top of that. <clears throat> so, so now you have to, to, to have a social security number or you're subject to payments. Okay. You don't care about what, what your God uh, does while you're here. You're going to do what he says. Okay. It says, so that he, as God, sits in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And, and that's what happened. You know, he, he's sitting up there saying that he is uh, Jesus, which when you're coming to the, to the knowledge of the scriptures, that's not his uh, real name. Okay? And he's not uh, white. Okay? The, the, the so-called white man, according to the Bible, the ones, the, the, the so-called white people who lineage goes back to Esau, are Edomites according to the Bible, okay? Which that the word that the the devil according to the Bible, which the word devil just means deceiver, okay? But the so-called white man is showing that he thinks that he is God, okay? And and nothing else, and that's the way that this um this nation was built. It wasn't built off of righteousness, okay? But I'm gonna get this scripture, Amos three and one. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, And our people used to live in the land of Egypt. Okay, and the Lord saved our people from Egypt. See, a lot of people read this Bible as if it's some type of storybook. Okay, which there are stories in there, but they read it as if it's some type of um, 
fairy tale. Okay? You have to, to believe that this is actually the truth. And when you come into this to, to the knowledge, you, you sit up there and you see like, hey, nothing else uh makes as much sense as the scriptures. Okay? So when the Lord saved the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from out of Egypt, he didn't save Christians, he didn't save Baptists or Jehovah Witnesses or any of those things. He saved the children of Israel from out of Egypt, a nation, and he built this nation, okay? When you go into the, the book of, uh, well, from, from Genesis all the way on down, okay? He built this nation, okay? And he gave them the laws, statutes, and commandments that they're supposed to live by, okay? And what they're supposed to do and, and, and how they're supposed to conduct themselves, okay? And he built them up and 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 um and he, he he gave them what 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 um what lands they were supposed to um have and everything. Okay. Um this is um this is scripture in the uh the Bible where it talks about um the Lord divided the, 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 the nations, their inheritance, and he gave, uh, this is, I got one right here, it's De uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people Jacob is his, is the lot of his inheritance. So, when you look at like a state uh, a map of the United States, okay, you have people that live in different um, areas, okay, and and this is basically you know just to to, to put it in the pr proper perspective, okay. All of these states in America have different um, inheritances, okay? They have different borders of what, uh, you know, what, what when you go through them lines, this is, uh, you're crossing into the city of, of New York or you're, you're crossing into the city of t Tennessee, okay? And, and basically, all of these uh, states in America have different laws, different... Uh, ways of living and everything okay but when you look at uh the the bible okay our people lived in the land of of of, of israel which is currently um um controlled by people who claim to be israelis okay not israelites they claim to be israelis okay but when when you go into the Bible and you look in the the the, the um like the 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 history, the Lord set what tribes of Israel was going to be where, okay. Um, and I believe that there is a map, okay. That um that lets you know, um what 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 tribes uh were were being um placed you know with a with a um where the uh the the tribe of judah and everything like that was uh was at uh back then okay so if i can uh find a map okay and this is a this is a good one i believe okay so is 12 children of Israel and as the scripture says the Lord uh, divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel for the Lord's portion is his people Jacob is the lot of his his inheritance okay so the tribe of Judah the so-called Negroes lived in this land the tribe of Simeon the so-called Dominicans lived in this land the tribe of Reuben, so on and so forth, okay? 
they all had their lands where they were supposed to, to, to live at, okay? And all of these are the, the, the children of Israel. And they, 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 we all had our way, our, the law, statutes, and commandments from the Bible that was given to us, okay? And, and, and what we was doing, you know, before we came over here in, in this slavery, okay? Now, um, with that said, our people were overtaken and placed into captivity, okay? Not because the so-called white man um, has the power to do so, which they got their power from the from the Most High. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken thee diligent, I mean, so hearken thee, I mean, hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Okay? And when you look at the 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 nation of Israel, we was on on high. Everybody knew who who we was, and people still know who we are. Okay. Now it says uh, he will set you on high above all nations of, of the earth, and all of these blessings shall come on you and overtake you if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, and and this. You can read Deuteronomy 20, 28, 3, you know, through 14, okay? But I want to get into some of the curses, okay? It says, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, or hear, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. It says, Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field, okay, in the world. Because our people, when when we were living here under our own rulership, okay, you had we had our kings, we had our prophets, we had our own uh laws that was given in the Bible of what we supposed to do, our people were, were mighty, okay? And now you take our people from out of their natural habitat. Okay, and put them in another place under the under their enemies. Of course, the the enemies are gonna look at them like you know these are niggers or they're the lowest people whatsoever, because that's the way that the Lord set it up. No matter where you go at, not just in America but all throughout the world. Okay, it says, "Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of the body. I mean, thy body and the fruit of thy land and the increase of thy kind." And the flocks of thy sheep. And these curses are happening because our people don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments according to the Bible. Okay? They forgot who their power was. Or power is. Okay? The, the Lord rules in the uh, kingdom of men. Not man. Okay? A lot, a lot of our people are, are distraught over um, over Donald Trump being president. Okay? When they don't, they don't understand uh, the biblical uh, prophecies of what's, what's going to happen, okay? But our people used to um, be able to, to, to grow their own food, okay? But now we have to go to the, um, the so-called white man for everything, okay? Um, go to them for, for, um, for, for uh, you know, while our people go to them for, for um, the hospitals and things like that. When it's a natural cure for everything out here, okay. Um, it says <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28 and 25 The Lord shall cause you to be smitten before your enemies, thou shalt go one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And and that's what happened because our people didn't listen to our our father. Okay, and, and did what he said, okay, which it was meant for our people to go off so that we can be in this uh, situation that we're in so that the Lord can weed out the ones that, that really are for him and, and, and aren't is the Lord's plan. But our people went out towards, you know, when when when, when our people uh, was fighting um, throughout history, 
you know, we were we were a mighty people. The Lord was with us. And then over the over the course of of history, okay, our people uh, was was wicked, and and when we would go out to go fight, you know, we would lose those battles. Okay. Um, I'm just going through some of the uh, curses. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and an astonishment of heart. Okay, and, and that's what you when you look at how mad our people are, how crazy they are. Okay, how blind they are. They can't. They can't. Uh, they can't see what's really going on. Okay, you just look at how 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 much of a, a nigger some of our people are. That's that's built by design, because our people forgot who their their heavenly father is. It's Deuteronomy twenty eight and twenty nine, and thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind grope in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save you, no man shall redeem you. Okay, and and and. You know that this happened during slavery, and this also happening uh, now. You know, our people are uh, they have to to, to wake up at, at uh, early morning hours to to go uh, make a living in this society, okay? And there's no other book that's that's breaking all of this stuff down, man, okay? But you shouldn't have to. The, here go the Bible telling our people. That we're we're a special people, and our people don't wanna don't wanna um, listen or consider. Okay, it's I Isaiah one and three. The I'm gonna I'm start at two. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord have spoken. I have nourished and brought up the uh, brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. A donkey knows knows where he's from. But Israel does not know. My people does does not consider. Okay, our people don't don't know who they are, and they don't care to know who they are. Okay, the Bible is telling our people that we're a special people. You know that we deserve more than than what's in front of us. But our people still want to want to live in this society. They still love the ways of this this place. No matter what our people do, we're not prospering. Okay, but they they go to these churches and they're telling them. Hey, you're going to prosper or you're going to walk into a uh, million dollars and, you know, it's going to be good for you. But our people are oppressed and we still have to pay bills and, you know, our food ain't right. You know, we still got to um, have that end of the month struggle still on food stamps and everything. Okay. Um, it says, thou shalt betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. You know, that's during the slavery. The so-called white man came and, 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 and slept with um with the woman. Okay, even though the woman had a, had another man. The so-called white man still came and slept with her. It says, Thou shalt build an house and shalt, and thou shalt not dwell therein. And our people was building houses during um during slavery and didn't dwell in them houses. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Okay, um, thy, Deuteronomy 30, 28 and 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto a, another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in your hands. And when we was in slavery, that's what happened. They took our, our children away from us, and we couldn't do anything, okay? This is all because we are under the curses of the Bible. Okay. Um our people aren't healthy, you know, we 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 have uh diabetes and all type of uh health problems because they don't follow the dietary laws according to the Bible. Okay? Um Deuteronomy 28 and 36. The Lord shall bring you and your king which you shall set over you onto a nation which neither you nor your fathers have known. And there so you serve other gods, wood and stone, and that's what our people people are doing. They're worshiping uh, wood, you know, in these Catholic uh, churches, and you know, 
It says in stone, going into the, the being Muslims and stuff like that. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword among all the nations, whither the Lord shall send you. Uh, niggers and akadas or, you know, thoughts and stuff like that. Okay. Um, let me get a couple more. And um, I'm going to uh, close out the lesson. Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And as soon as a person is born, okay, they're born with a certain debt that they have to, to, to pay. You know? They, they already owe money to the government. You can't really enjoy these children in this society because the government could, uh, has them. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above you very high and thou shalt come down very low and our people have been over here on this land okay longer than anybody and 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 people from these other nations these other countries come over here and they open up stores in the same neighborhoods that niggas be be hustling in their whole entire life and and don't own anything okay but these people from these other countries come over here and they, they, they get set up very high above our people. It says, he shall lend to you and thou shalt not lend to him. And, and our people, what, what do these people, these nations come to our people for? They don't come to our people for anything. You know, our people go to them for everything. The women go to them for the fake hair and um, we go to them for the foods and everything. Okay, it says, he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and shall pursue you and overtake you till you be destroyed. Because thou hearkens not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. Okay, um, I'm going to get, uh. Deuteronomy 28 and 48 Therefore shalt you serve your enemies Which the Lord shall send against you In hunger and in thirst And in nakedness And hunger, you know, our people go to these um, They go to the market to get the food Okay, and then, then the quality of the food Really isn't what it's supposed to be Okay But the fact that we can't even grow anything In this society without permission It's crazy it says, and in thirst, we got to go there for the, for the water. Even when we have water, water in our, um, our homes, you know, we still got to uh, pay for the water bill, okay, for natural products. It says, and in nakedness, you got to go to them for the clothes, okay, and in want of all things, you know, every single thing that you, that you want, you have to, to get money in order to pay for it. And he so put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Until he have destroyed you, until he have destroyed you, and even when you're going to to the scripture again, that's during the um the, the times of slavery. Our people was hungry, they was thirsty, they was naked, and then they wanted everything. Okay, so so yes, this is a a a a, a faith based thing, man, because our people um during that time they wanted to get up out of this this hell, and and that's what we are. We are in hell. Okay. Um, 28 and 49 the Lord shall bring a nation against you from afar from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flieth a nation whose tongue shall I mean thou shall not understand and our people during the time of 70 AD which you can google that they fled from Israel okay under the, the, the Roman persecution into the western parts of Africa and there's many books that that detail this um, thing they they fled from the Romans, okay, into another uh, into Africa, okay, the, the land that's that's so called Africa. It says a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not re regard the person of the old, nor so favor to the young. Um, this is Deuteronomy. Uh, twenty eight, and fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you, which we used to be a hospitable people, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife 
of his bosom towards the towards his brother you know the black on black crime the the um puerto ricans fighting against each other mexicans fighting against each other even the mexicans fighting against the blacks and towards the wife of his bosom you got the um the, the uh people you know the, the men that that be beating on their woman the um the, the men that, that, that just treat their women like shit, you know? It says, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, the deadbeat fathers. Okay? Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which our women used to be um, hospitable. They used to be respectful. They used to be um, delicate, tender. Okay? Which would not adventure... To set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom, putting him on child support and everything. Sex and eight in order to get these benefits from the so-called white man. And towards her son, which they te treat their, their sons different from their daughters. Okay? And towards her daughter. Okay? Um... This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring you unto Egypt again with ships. Okay, and when, when our people left from Egypt, okay, from when, when our people left from Egypt to go into the land of Israel, there was no reason to go into Egypt again with ships. Okay, this, this Egypt is talking about America. By the way, where which e the word Egypt means bondage, by the way, by the way, whereof I spake unto you, thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So, what this means is that our people were sold into slavery, okay, and we're still being sold into slavery. Even, even on to this day, and it says that no man shall buy you, no man shall redeem you. And this is where the second coming comes into play so that our people can get up out of this hell that, that we're in. Okay? So that our people can return back onto the Heavenly Father. And always, okay, because our people lost every single thing that there is about them. Okay? Following after the ways of this world. Okay? Looking at things from, from this world's point of view instead of what the scriptures say. Okay, so um, with that, man, hopefully this was an edifying lesson, okay, um, and that uh, you learned something, okay, but uh, with that, um, I want to say shalom until next time.